next, next room. So, where are we at now? Uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Remember, I said the mines are huge. Okay, no traps in here. Oh, okay, so here's what I usually refer to as the halfway point. As you can see, it's a unique looking room. It's all dark and red. And there's these guys in here. Cinnobeats. They're like robot ninjas. Yes, we've got robot ninjas and robot zombies in here. Oh, that's right. I think you guys are actually weaker to Poi. Oh, nope. At least not while you're charging. Ugh. We're punching me in the face. Yep, okay, you are weak to Poi. Ugh. I'm dead. Oh, one cool thing about th this game is not only do you not lose all of your money when you die, but uh, your weapon also doesn't become unequipped. So you don't have to worry about storing all your money in the bank like you do in uh, episode one and two on the GameCube. You can just keep it all with you. All right, I was meaning to come back to the shop anyway find out what some of these mystery items are. Bind sword. Yeah, sure. And mech gun. I don't plan on using that mech gun. My accuracy is low enough as it is. Okay, sell that bind sword, who cares? Uh, keep the auto gun. Sell those, sell those. Let's see, either of these worth keeping? Uh, oh, that's not bad. I'll keep that for later. Okay. Eventually, you just wind up having all these different weapons in your inventory. You have to make a choice. What do you really need? Okay, and time to buy more monomates. The maps don't really change much, but there are a few different iterations of each area. Although, I know Forest 1, in Forest 1, the only thing that changes is where you start and where uh, the exit to Forest 2 is. Whereas the layout of the mines actually can change a little bit between different iterations. Same with the caves. And definitely the ruins, which are even more labyrinthian.
almost dead again. <laughs> oh, I can't do it again. Die, would you? Thank you. Two ninjas at once. Watch out. my fireball that's actually pretty slick oh not confusion not confusion that's way too oh <laughs> I was too far into the corner and it forgot I was there that's hilarious oh what uh, how'd you miss C-shaped room. So, only after Let's Play <laughs> this game have I realized how repetitive it is. I apologize for that. It is, it is a lot of me just walking it from room to room and zapping things with lightning. As awesome as that is. But at least Pokemon will be a little more interesting. Well, except for all the Ekans and Rattatas I'll have to fight. I mean, there's quite a few of those. some trailers for Fantasy Star Online 2. Now that looks awesome. The character customization looks very good. Although the funny thing is, is the graphics don't look a whole lot better. <laughs> Confused, derp a derp. I don't know where to go, derp a derp. Okay. Come on. Oh boy, ninja magic. There we go. 
Your ninja magic was no match for my fire. Oh, whoops. Not ice. I'm invincible. Haha. At least right this second. It doesn't last very long. Okay. Photon blast. That creature. <laughs> the, the enemies in the ruins look a lot like that. yet. Stuck fans watching this. Uh, me and Nick, my brother are both psyched for KomoriCon later this year in uh, Vancouver, Washington. been going this will be our third year going I know it's a few months away but uh I'm a, I'm a, uh I really want to get a cosplay for it this time I've never I've never had a cosplay at a anime convention <laughs> none of you can get me but I can zap you from here. Of course, if I was just a ranger, I could just rifle them from here. through that other door. And I'm poisoned again. Oh, uh, so I wouldn't have been able to go through there anyway. Something spawned, but oh, it's in here. <laughs> <laughs> 